Hey guys and welcome. I recently bought these wall mounted hooks. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Very easy to do. You just need a few tools. And why pay someone to do it when you can do it yourself? So first things first, we want to make sure that we have all the right tools. Of course we need the actual wall mount that we're going to set up. And luckily the wall mount did come with three screws with three drywall mounts and the three little caps that we're going to put in the holes after we put the screws in there. Now of course you need a Phillips head screwdriver, a drill with a drill bit and a stud finder. Although this won't be carrying heavy weight, we don't necessarily need the stud finder, we can mount it straight into the drywall, but I'd like to make sure that if I can get at least one stud, I'd use that. Important that we have a little pencil or a pen for our markings and super important a level to make sure that at the end of the day our work is nice and level. Now before drilling any holes into the wall we want to use placement. We want to place this where we think we want it to go and visually see how it looks because it's one way how it looks in our heads another when we actually put it up on the wall. So I think right around here is good. Now this may shift a little to the left or to the right depending on where I find the studs but now I know this is where I want it to go. So using my stud finder, we're gonna try and see if we find a stud. Let's just slowly move it around and it looks like we found a piece of one. Keep scrolling and there it is. So I'm going to mark it with the pencil to make sure I know where the middle is. So I found another stud that was more towards the center and I'm gonna use that one, that marking as my center hole. So let me line that up, there it is, I'm going to draw a little circle with a pencil and I'm going to mark where the other two holes go. Now they may not be level yet, but at least I know where the holes are supposed to be. So one, two, three. So now I grab my level and let's check and see if they are aligned. Now I wanted to be a little fancy so I used this air grip laser level and pretty much I can see I can adjust it how I want, it has a laser and it gave me the straight line to really make sure everything was uh, nicely aligned. Time to drill some holes. Now it's time to on these three holes put in our drywall mounts so let's go ahead and just Put it in. Now you want it to be a tight fit, you are going to have to push a little bit. What I like to do is either use a hammer or the bottom of the battery of the drill. Just push it in. Let's use the next one. Now again remember, if it doesn't go all the way in, don't force it too much. That just means that the drill bit that you use was a bit too small so you can go one level higher to make sure that it fits. You want a nice, tight, snug fit. Now let's put the third. And now we're ready to put the screws and the mount. So the first thing I want to do is use the middle hole. I'll place the screw through it first. That way I, I can use it as a guide. Now for this I like to use a screwdriver instead of the drill. I don't want to crack the wood so I don't want to go way too hard or too fast. So we'll just screw it in with a screwdriver. And I don't like to go all the way in on the first try. I just want to have it there for placement. Now that I know more or less where it is, I'll get the next one and I will look for the next hole. So now that the hooks are mounted, we want to make sure that they're level before you put the little caps because there's still time. If for whatever reason it's not level, you can still unscrew. This is pretty thick that we could probably move up about a half inch, open new holes to make sure it's level. But let's check this out. Let's place it here and voila! Let me see if I can get this closer. Check that out. And now the last step is to just get these little caps and place them where the screws go. So there's number one. 
two, and three. There you go. Good as new. Nice and sturdy. Time to use it.